Hi, I'm Erica Adams and I work out of our Linden office. I am here today to talk with you guys about crisis work and art therapy. And you may be wondering, really? Art? When there's a crisis going on? And I would say, yes, exactly. So crises are times where our brain is like ready and here and interested in knowing what is a different way we're gonna solve this problem. This has been going on for so long. We are at imminent risk. We're at our wits end. That's exactly when our brain's like, yeah, let's do something different. Art is on the same side of the brain as emotions. Art also frees up the brain. It helps us express in ways that we may not otherwise. Just activation of those neurons and those creative pathways in your brain is so good for new problem solving and figuring out solutions to problems that have had us kind of stuck recently. So I am a nationally board certified and state licensed art therapist, as well as a licensed counselor supervisor in the state of Kentucky. So the melding of these two is really important to my work. It's a lot of art. It's a lot of talking about the art. Sometimes it's letting the art speak letting the art be the, the way of communicating what is going on within us. So here's one way we might do that. We might take uh, what we would call body mapping. So sometimes that is just an outline of a body on a piece of paper that we're then going to use and pretend like it's ours. We may also, if the client is comfortable enough, just draw an outline, have them stand against a long roll of paper and make a pose, do something fun. And so we have a true outline of that person that's already personalizing the experience. So we have it there, we look at it, and then we think, okay, what are the common emotions that we feel? Then we're gonna pick out colors and forms and, and geometric shapes and whatever fits with that emotion. Then we're gonna put it on the body outline where we feel that emotion. Maybe we don't know. Maybe we're not very in tune with our body and what's happening, but doing this art exercise gives me the information to tell us what we do need to learn and also gives window for the client to be able to express in a way that is less threatening, is easier to talk about, and sometimes just speaks for itself. We all know that trying to put our emotions into words, those two hemispheres do not always cross exactly the right way. <laughs> so. Any opportunity that we can use to build our awareness, to build our skills through something as simple as putting marker on paper, I think that's pretty cool. With the guidance of a registered art therapist who's using research-backed research -backed interventions, you can often get to healing and feeling better a lot quicker than just talking about it. So I really welcome you to look into art therapy. Reach out to any of us if you're interested or you're intrigued and just schedule an appointment with a registered art therapist if that's something that interests you. Thanks for being here.